Hi, I'm Dr. Stu Silverstein, the medical director and the founder of MedHumor Medical Publications and the author of Laughing Your Way to Passing the Pediatric Boards. And many of you must be saying, uh, who is this guy? And uh, is he actually funny? Well, the answer is yes and no, but we'll soon find out. We're going to be getting a, a, um, a video series here that goes over some of the more difficult parts of the exam that can often trip you up on, on either whether the mock process or the mock exam or the pediatric board exam. And by the time you get done with each one of these uh, video clips, you will not be tricked up on the exam. So let's take the topic of breast feeding jaundice versus human milk jaundice. Uh, human milk jaundice used to be called breast milk jaundice, making it even more confusing. But let's take a look at the uh, text of our book and how, this, how you can avoid this confusion. Breast feeding jaundice is basically due to the uh, inadequate um, supply of breast milk uh, from the mother, essentially, um, during the first few days of life, in other words, the first week. Essentially, it's dehydration, and this results in the decreased passage of meconium and uh, increasing enterohepatic um, circulation, and this is a uh, result, again, dehydration. So what's the solution? The solution is to increase breastfeeding if possible, but if the child has already lost more than 10% of the birth weight, then they're going to have to uh, be supplemented with, with uh, formula. And um, that's what breastfeeding jaundice is. Now, human milk jaundice, um, again, which used to be called breast milk jaundice, but strike that out of your memory, it's not important. It's human milk jaundice occurs after the first week of life. And it is due to an inherent factor in breast milk that's triggering the jaundice uh, and the hyperbilirum anemia. And what's the solution there? The solution is, is, is to decrease breastfeeding until the, uh, until the, you know, the, um, bilirubin levels are decreased. The milk should be stored. Mother should pump the milk and store it, and therefore um, it can be used later, but there's a cessation of breastfeeding that's short-term. Again, to sum this up, breastfeeding jaundice occurs during the first week of life. It's due to dehydration, and the increasing of breastfeeding or increasing formula supplementation is the answer. Human milk jaundice occurs after the first week, and it's due to a um, a factor in the breast milk itself and withholding breastfeeding until the problem is solved is the treatment. We hope you found this useful and we'll be putting up more videos. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and of course follow us on Twitter. And uh, that's it. Take care and good luck.